can it be 12 months since Madeleine Lloyd Webber and Simon Marsh and I were standing looking at too darn hot and wondering why, what might happen? Here we are at Watership Down, Madeleine. What has happened? How happy are you? Well, I mean, it couldn't have gone better so far. We're really happy with the foals. He got a lot of mares in foal and the foals on the ground, I'm not an expert looking at foals at all, but what I do know is when they're pretty and attractive, and the ones I've seen certainly seem to be, and I do know when they're too small and they're not too small, and they look, they look the perfect article. They, look a bit, they all look a bit like him, mm. which is great because he's a really, really attractive stallion. They always talk about stamping stock. Why is that important, Simon? I think it's interesting. I mean, some horses do really, really stamp their stock and others don't. I mean, Frankel is a prime example of a horse that seems to throw to the mare rather than to the stallion. But, um, you know, Dubawis, you can see a Dubawi out in the field every time, you know, you, you walk out of the field, he really, really stamps his stock. And Too Darn Hot seems to be a horse that really, really does stamp his stock. He seems to be a pure bay breeder. Every single foal he's had so far has been a, been a bay. And I think it is a hugely important thing that if they are stamping their stock, they are then, you know, you would hope that the, 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 the talent that they had as racehorses will really come through. Madeline, you've had so many good racehorses. You've had so many great broodmares as well. What's the experience like of being so heavily involved with a, a horse who could, if things go right, be really important for the breed? Well, I mean, we just... Fingers crossed. I mean, you just never know if they're going to make it a stallion, but he's got everything going for him. And, of course, that family's given us an enormous amount of fun. You know, Diary Me, The Dam, you know, just, you know, all those group ones all over the world. And then we've got her stock, Somi Da, Lati Da, again, all over the world, um, black-type winners. And it is incredibly exciting. That family just keeps giving and giving. And I, it just wouldn't surprise me at all if Too Darn Hot makes a great stallion. It just, we seem to be really lucky and I'm touching everything. And in terms of, it's not as though you're ever going to need anyone to twist your arm to maintain your enthusiasm for the sport, but how much greater will it be when there are hundreds of little two darn hearts running around and you can pretty much watch them every day? I can't imagine what it's going to be like because every day Simon is going to be ringing me saying, we've got five runners today <laughs> all over the world. I mean, it's just never going to stop. He's bad enough anyway. We hardly have any runners. But when it's going to be, you know, 140 and then we've got the Australian ones as well, it's going to be every day there's going to be an interest. I think it'll, it'll be the most exciting chapter in our, in our racing and breeding career. And Simon, how's he, how's he taken to the, to the shuttling? Because they've got to have a, a certain temperament for it. I think very, very well indeed. And as you say, they do need a temperament. I mean, he, he covered a, very, a full book of mares in his first year. Um, he went down to Australia. He was limited to 130 mares down there. Um, he's got well over 90% of those mares in foal. And he's come back here and he's covered a full book of mares over here. He's got over 140 mares in foal in his second season, which you know, to be honest with you, is remarkable for, a, for, for, for any horse in their second season to have that support from the breeders. And Madeline, when you look back on his, his racing career, how, how do you reflect on it? It was just full. I mean, the, the amazing surprise, we'd never really had a two-year-old that has really blasted onto the racing landscape like he did. Ours tend to be three-year-olds and or back-end two-year-olds, three-year-olds. So the exciting thing for us is we were, we were in the game with a colt that we hardly ever have a colt either, but in the two-year-old races. So that was really exciting for us. And the Dewhurst was just a, a standout day. The ups and downs of his three-year-old career, you know, with his slight injury that put us off beam for the guineas and then finally coming through at the end and then the injury again was just the ups and downs were exciting, but he happened to be champion three-year-old. So it all came good in the end. Yeah, champion juvenile, champion three-year-old. But, but almost, we, we knew how good he was that we always wanted a little bit more, didn't we? Always wanted more. And everybody was just so disappointed he didn't make it to the guineas because I think that, that would have been his, his race. But we'll never know. And it didn't matter because he won those group ones later on in the season. He's obviously from a family that served you incredibly well. But going back through his pedigree, Simon, he's absolutely steeped. He's soaked in sort of Dali, Dali stallions all the way back to Topville in the 80s and in the wings in there yeah, as well. Yeah, I mean, I think I, remarkably, yeah, he's, he's the mayor's, mayor's um, by Singspiel, who's by in the wings, who both stood at Dali, and the stallion Dubawi stands at Dali, and Dubai Millennium stood at Dali, and I think Topville stood at Dali. So, 
yeah, there's, there's Dali stallions all the way through the pedigree. But, um, you know, one of the remarkable things about his pedigree is that, you know, he was a group one, multiple group one winner. He's out of a multiple group one winner. He's out of a group one winner. And, you know, there's just group ones all the way through his pedigree. It's just steeped in it. And you go back into the third dam and you find Darshan, who was the mm. most fantastic stallion himself. Is that old Aga Khan pedigree, isn't it, mm. coming through from yeah. generations back? Madeline, last year you were talking about Tudon Hot's physique and saying how much he reminded you of, of Dirara and how that, and, and she was the, the first mayor that you could have got together to, to form yep. this she, she place She was one of our with. first foundation mayors we bought and Simon's in Ireland and we managed to, to buy her out of an Aga Khan draft and she was very similar, small, neat, strong, very well balanced, beautiful head. And so I think the combination of her and Dubawi, you know, you've, you've just got this, this perfect specimen I and mean, you can't fault him on his confirmation. And in terms of the mayors that you're, you're really supporting him with, Madeline, you've got some quite exciting new, new additions to the stud. Yes, that's right. I mean, we've bought some mayors to send to him. We've got, I think we've got five four foals and we've got five mares going to him so we're sporting him with our own stock but we also bought some mares especially to go to him last year and uh, they're in foal we've got foals from them and one's in foal this year uh, exciting new mare called gale force that um has there's a slight update on that um, That's a tremendous <laughs> understatement. A, sli a slight pedigree update as she throws you the Irish, impressive Irish Derby winner. The Irish Derby winner. So that's a bit of a coup for us. And so again, we probably wouldn't have bought that mare if we hadn't got too darn hot. So it's amazing how things things work out. You're right. He really has been the gift that keeps giving, he, e even he, to this point. Even to this point. Um, so it's incredibly exciting to see our own foals by too darn hot in the field. What do you think, Simon? I think we are very, very lucky to have him. Um, hopefully he will be as successful as we believe and a lot of other breeders out there believe. He was a brilliant champion miler, but the pedigree itself is steeped in staying blood as well. So I don't think that he will be just an out and out speed stallion. I think he will get mm. horses from every distance, like his father, Jabawi. Jabawi's a miler, he can get horses that are sprinters he can get milers uh, horses that stay over two miles so i think too darn hot will fit into that category yeah, very don't put easily. Him in a yeah bracket I, yeah i think he's a mm. he, he he will transcend that what have you found in terms of people sending you the mares what sort of mares have they been sending him obviously you take good ones but i think again i think it's been a real cross section i mean i think we've been you know he's he's covered a lot of um galileo mares and um you know, Shamadel mares and Fastnet Rock mares and, you know, and, and then quite a lot of people actually have sent him Dalakani mares, which is in breeding to Delcy, which is um, the dam of um, Dorara. So mm -hmm. it's that, that's quite interesting in itself. Do you find it quite easy, given the success that you've had, to, to, to separate out the co commercial needs and what gets to you sentimentally with these horses? It's sort of worked for us in both ways. Mm. Um, we get attached to the mares, we get attached to the fillies, we tend to keep all of them. We, we do keep some of the colts and frankly we've been rather lucky with the ones we've kept because we've had to keep them. And so if you've, something works then you may as well stick with the system. Madeline, if you had a single ambition for, for Too Darn Hot as a stallion, what would it be? Oh, we'd like, we'd love a bit of, quite a bit of black type for his first two-year-olds, that would be fantastic. And then wouldn't it be great to have a, a, if he bred a Guineas winner? Do you feel that that would be, that would be completing the circle, if you like? And that was the I race he couldn't get to and he should I have got to. I think that that would just, you know, frank the form, wouldn't it? That would just frank the whole thing. It would be fantastic.